I see a body in motion when I think of arabesque. It's about extraordinary control and extraordinary balance. It's about responding to music. It's about the relationship between music and the object, and in this case, the object is the piano. Before you even get to what does something look like, you think about what is the experience? What experience do you want to create? The piano has one essential line, and that's the shape of the rim itself. It's undeniably what the piano is. There's one line that the eye follows down. It's not a static line. It's a line that begins to move around the leg. And the leg, because of its twisting motion, carries with it this sense of movement. We follow that reflection of the light as it moves across it. The top stick follows the serpentine shape of the rim, so you reach across, and then it sets into place. So now we have this arced shape, which echoes many of the other arced elements of the piano. The most wonderful aspect of any key cover is that when you lift it, it exposes the keys and it gives access, it's a gateway to creating wonderful sounds. All of these components fitting together are what distinguishes the arabesque and makes it a special instrument. It does come down to beauty. Everything should come down to beauty.